I want to show you guys how to build a professional and trustworthy store that I use to sell $50,000 worth of product in one month in 2021. Hey guys, my name is Dan Cava and I'm really excited to help you guys design a Shopify store in today's video. I know making a trustworthy store can be a struggle, so I want to help you guys out by showing you guys some tips and tricks that I implement uh, to better my customer experience and in the long run get more sales to my brand. If you guys could drop a like on this video for me real quick and subscribe, that would mean the world to me as this is going to be a long video today. Um, and with that, let's do it. So I just actually finished creating out my store. It's just Bonsai Plant Pro Shop. Uh, just kind of the random email I made, which is going to be used as the trial brand for today. So I, I kind of found a product, um, which is what you want to do second, but it's kind of, it's like a magnetic levitating flower pot. I actually don't recommend selling this. Uh, this is kind of just for trial use. I don't think it would sell that great. Um, but that's what I'm going to be using just for the, uh, for this trial store today. And second part in building out the store is figuring out your brand and logo. I believe these are the most important things and these are the first things uh, customers are gonna see when they are uh, loaded onto your website. And it kind of sets the tone for if they find this trustworthy or you know how they kind of like and like the brand uh, just based on how your logo looks. Does it look professional? Does it look clean? Does it look something that the customer can relate to and uh, you know, just the like, I guess it's pretty simple. So I'm on Canva right now. I feel like this is a great, uh, has great templates for making uh, logos. So logo, this is the size you want to look at the, for the logo. And I'm just gonna look up, uh, let's look up plant. can't type okay so i was scrolling um and i actually found this logo i think it actually looks pretty clean honestly you want to if this is your actual brand you probably want to research a little bit more uh maybe use some photoshop if you're advanced and really find a logo that um accentuates your brand and um it really makes your brand pop i feel like this is pretty good for um the store i'm going for uh fiddle around with it and i'll show you guys what it looks like okay so i kind of mocked up two designs for you guys <clears throat> for the logo i have this more kind of um a little bit more out there logo um and then also just kind of a basic i know it's kind of small and hard to read but um just basic bonsai plant pro which is kind of like what the brand i'm going with here just a basic black text okay guys we just got done with the logo and now let's move on to the another important piece which is going to be our theme for the shopify store we obviously have these free themes uh that we can go off of which I recommend re uh, looking into each one of them, kind of testing out and seeing, um, you know, what theme you think will fit with your kind of brand and what you're going for better. In my case, I love to beautify. Um, this is what I'm gonna be going with today, and I, it's really easy to download. So it's not actually a Shopify theme, um, but it integrates with Shopify, and it's it's more like an app kind of add-on. And so all you have to do is enter your first name and your email, and uh, you can get it downloaded. So I'm gonna download it and then get right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So I just downloaded the, the Beautify theme onto my uh, store here. So it's as you can see, it's in my theme library. Uh, this is the version 4.8.0, uh, which I believe is just the newest version. Virgin. <laughs> I just said virgin. I mean version. <laughs> um, Let's uh, go to customize. Let's check it out. And as I said before, you guys really want to kind of fiddle with all of the different free themes that are available. I wouldn't necessarily look into the paid themes. I just feel like you can make a killer website with, with just the free themes and save some money. So yeah, so this is what Debutify looks like. It looks pretty simple, but I think they offer the like uh, the most customization for a free theme. Uh, so that's why I love Debutify. Okay, so in the Debutify homepage, uh, this theme editor, uh, please just disregard the, the lightning symbols. That is if you uh, pay for the extra like add-ons the beautify offers which i don't recommend to be honest unless you are a big store um but for the announcement message all i did was edit this to free u.s shipping uh just united states i feel like that um that is important to add it just had worldwide shipping uh which i only sell in the u.s when i make stores and um sell products you know you could you can fiddle with whatever you guys want but um i kind of like how this looks so i'm gonna keep that Okay, so announcements is done. I was moving on to my logo placement and I just chose to go with the Bonsai Plant Pro, just this basic um, logo for right now. Um, I actually don't recommend <clears throat> you guys go with something as basic as this. I feel like uh, some color and some, um, some kind of design element uh, will help make your logo look more professional and better. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay, so I'm currently messing around with the colors right now. Um, colors are huge, huge. Um, important thing when building out a website. I see how I, I just changed the uh, free US shipping to this, um, I think a good looking green, uh, you know, just kind of go with the flow of, you know, it's a garden store, it's a plant store, green, you know, grass, forest. Um, so you, you wanna uh, go into the colors here. Uh, let's see, text, text looks good. I, I want the text to be white uh, over here. 
Now sales price is um, sales price. I actually might want to be green to kind of go with the the, the theme. Buttons label that wants to be green as well to go go with the thing. Links and accents that as well. And we could always go back and change this. I'm just kind of trying to figure out. See that looks terrible. Oh my gosh, let me change that. So I'll be in background. I actually want it to be white. So after a little bit of filling around, I think this looks pretty good. Just as a little drawer menu. So now I just uh, was kind of messing around with the, the footer colors. This is kind of, this is kind of what it came up, came up with. Kind of with my color scheme, I'm going white, green, and then now black. It's uh, not exactly black. This is the color exact. Uh, shoot, that's not the right color. Yeah, it's two. Is this one right here? Uh, two, one, two, five, two, nine for the black. It's kind of like, it's not totally black. It's kind of like a lighter. Um, I feel like it lo this looks great for the footer. As you can see, then I have the green, uh, kind of like adding the aspects together. I think it looks awesome. So I'm gonna go with that. And I actually don't like, I don't like social media icons unless you have that. Do you usually don't want powered by uh, Shopify or Debutify. I just like it looking like this, copyright. Looks really clean. Um, and that's another great thing about Debutify is that aspect right there. Okay, I know I'm cutting a lot in this video. It's just cause I'm trying to figure out uh, all the right colors and kind of what I'm gonna base this off for this video. Um, so this is what I have so far. I uh, was just kind of messing with the colors. Uh, yeah, changing the colors around, uh, fixing the header, and uh, deleting any unnecessary items. So now I'm gonna go on to the slideshow and I'm kind of gonna write out a description and what I wanna put and what I want customers to see when they first load onto the website. So for the past five minutes, I've been looking at um, different pictures I can use for uh, the slideshow which is going to be the first thing the customers see, customers see when they load onto your website and i'm actually going to go with um a free image that shopify actually provides which is this kind of like plant looking uh picture and that's because it's uh it makes it really easy to see the text whereas all the other pictures that um of like the bonsai levitating plant that i'm going to sell <clears throat> or i'm using for this video uh it's kind of harder to read the text so i feel like this is more um more suitable for the uh the first picture so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna write some text and i'll be right back with you guys okay so i just wrote a, a little description um ultimate relaxation achieve zen with the bonsai plant pro our newest addition to the collection so this is what I'd be, i'm gonna be calling this it's it's like a levitating bonsai plant i'm gonna be calling it the bonsai plant pro and when you're using the tm symbol you, you actually want to make sure that what you're choosing isn't trademarked or you can get into legal trouble so just kind of research and do that um, or you can look into trademarking um, the name yourself, so no no one else can use the name. Now I have shop shop now learn more. Like you can you can honestly both have it lead to the same exact link to the product page, which is what I recommend. So now you see how this is all this other stuff isn't complete. So now let's move on to um, completing all this other stuff. Okay, I forgot to mention we need to add our product to our store um, from either AliExpress, Alibaba, and to do that. Uh, we're gonna have to get some apps from the Shopify store. So we're, we're gonna take a break from editing our website real quick. And let's uh, download our Burlo. Uh, this is the best dropshipping app that I have come across. A lot of people use it, it's free, which is awesome. And uh, it allows us to easily uh, easily upload our products. Let's create a new Burlo account. So I got my account all set up on Burlo. Um, now you wanna click on import list and you wanna add products by URL or ID. Uh, I, th I just find it the easiest. Uh, so then we go to AliExpress, the page we're on, um, and I didn't I didn't look into like exactly like you want to like analyze different prices if, if shipping's free, uh, if if reviews are good. But for the, the sake of this video, I'm just gonna choose this one. I seen I seen it for the the pictures on the website. Okay, add product. Obviously, we want to change the title here. So let's go bonsai plant pro. Be the TM symbol. Let's, let's skip that. Okay, so this is what I chose to go with. Bonsai Plant Pro TM Levitating Flower Pot. Uh, you can always change this later, but um, you just want to have a strong title and not this to AliExpress. Floating ge geometric magnet, like that just sounds terrible and doesn't uh, doesn't entice the customer at all to buy. So now going through these, these are just all different plugs. Uh, obviously we're US plugs, so we want to get uh, white US plugs. So then every other one of these is going to be a no-go for us, which makes it easy yeah there's like a yellow variant which uh, i don't would not want so okay so this is where we can uh, compare pricing um let's see here so what do we have the price at so let's go 69 lol uh compare up price wait what am, <laughs> what am i looking at here oh so we're buying it for 69 okay 
Oh yeah, since so this is more of a, um, I, I'm not even looking at the price, which is funny. Uh, so let's do 199.99. So we're doing we're doing a little sale here, which is pretty. This is pretty high margin products. We'll, we'll change the description later, and then images. These are all terrible. Actually, some of these are pretty solid, but um, I want to go here, here. Uh, yes. Yeah, so sometimes some of these uh, product pictures are actually really high quality. Um, I would say 90% of the time they're actually not so uh, that's where you have to do to do some research check Alibaba uh, Check the internet see if other people are actually selling this uh, a similar product and that can help you decide What pictures get you guys want to run? So let's do that. Now let's go import a store Boom import is active um, So this is importing to our store right now boom done and we could close a burlo and we could come to products um, so I like how straightforward it is uh, it Makes it really simple to add products to Shopify and um, Then you just you know if you get a sale you just buy an Ali, uh, Aliexpress ships right to the customer So what I'm gonna do now is I'm add featured products. So I want to um, Show off the product we got here. So I just want to go select product uh, Bonsai plant pro boom and boom here we are um, So I want to show on both desktop and mobile. Yes, I do uh, show product type. I do not uh, show product tags. I don't want the product tags. I do not want sharing icons. I want to keep, uh, in my opinion, you want to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, show product collections. No, I do not. Show field details. Yes, I want that. So then they click. They can click just for more details. Mm -hmm. I want image zoom. That sounds. That looks good. Um, awesome. So obviously these pictures aren't great. I'm edit. I'm gonna edit the pictures in a little bit. Uh, just for website sake, this is what it looks like right now. Uh, now let's move on to, uh, to fonts. I think that's an important note. Okay, so this is what our product page is currently looking like. Um, this is why I love the theme. There's, it, just, it just looks really good um, right off the bat. Obviously, we got to add some of the stuff to make it look, you know, finished. But um, so I want to change the font here. Let's see. Typo typography, headings. And so for the heading, the, one of the best ones I found is actually Oswald and I found medium works the best I like that a lot so now let's go here accent text menu buttons body text okay so Oswald Oz we want both these to be Oswald obviously um, you guys will want to test out different fonts for yourself if you guys say oh actually that I, I actually don't like the way that looks on uh, his um, on his product page well you guys can change it mess around for yourself um, this is actually what I prefer having so I think it looks pretty um, pretty professional okay so I want to edit this header size um, using the Oswald medium for the headings which is gonna change this text right here so it's kind of mess with the base size I'm, I'm just gonna um, kind of do this live and uh, so you guys kind of see how I'm doing this which I think I just want that so I, at least for me, just because of my OCD, I don't like how I kind of want like to be centered, but I'm just kind of trying to mess with it, see how I can get it to look. What does this change? Yeah, it's not changing much. So it doesn't look like it's changing much. So now we want to go down to the body text. So base size, we actually want to increase this uh, to 18. Uh, this makes it easier for uh, people to read. If they need glasses, if they you know wear glasses or have things where they can't see as well, just obviously want to make the text bigger also looks good yeah so um i like i would uh suggest using base size 40 and oswald medium i like i like how this looks a lot uh looks very clean looks better than the base text that they give you okay guys so it's currently the next day i had some come up so i had to stop uh when looking at this uh product page um i see two things i want to start off by deleting which is uh this sharing icons and product collections i want to leave space under the add to cart to actually install another app that i'll go over in just a minute here but i like the uh how clean it looks uh without all the other stuff that you know won't help your conversions um i'm also gonna change i've decided i want to change this sale color to be red um i just feel like there's a little bit too much green going on here and i wanted to add extra color to really uh make it show that hey we have a sale going on and you want to buy um i like this add a cart button i also have enabled image zoom as you can see right here i love the quantity picker uh, if customers want to add multiple to the cart it makes it super super straightforward and easy and i like the button not the drop down 
so the button i think works well especially on mobile um and yeah that's about it for here um as you can see there's a lot more stuff to do on the product page so let's get to that okay so when looking at my product page uh you guys can see that i changed this to red uh which i think accentuates the the price i got so now i have this product description which i'm going to edit for you guys shortly um and then i have these our guarantees which i'll also edit shortly um i feel like these are really nice um to kind of bring that trustworthy feel and uh you can also explain some some things of the product as well and it's easy to read and like very very visual which is awesome so now let's go uh let's get out of here and i'm gonna show you guys uh more apps to add to your store okay so i just looked up trust badges in the shopify app store and um this is one of my favorites is ultimate trust badges by conversion bear uh it's just totally free which i love uh and it'll just integrate right into our store so what this is gonna do is i have it set up and i'll show you guys how i set it up where it will show customers payment options like on my other store i was actually accept i was able to accept bitcoin and i showed that um under the add to cart button which see right here uh which honestly just looks great so secure checkout with i want to keep this uh i like the font size text color looks awesome uh, and I, you can actually add more badges i'm just uh looking at this real quick i want to add shit like this i actually like the card uh the card option and i just like it small uh slight and i do not want that uh i just think it looks mm, you know so then i want to add so say, let's say i'm uh accepting bitcoin uh which is through bitpay i will choose this um let's see what's another okay so ethereum that'd be that'd be cool um but not not for this one nice let's just go amex i feel like that's uh, actually that's right right there sweet i'll just add that bit pay and uh let's go where's the save ultimate i think it's already installed actually awesome okay so i, got, I actually just got the conversion bear uh trust badges to work on my website um so first i i'll just show you guys right now uh, I added a custom margin, which is negative 10 to make it just a little bit closer to the add to cart button And then I went back to my store and just in this other tab here You have to add uh, you have to add this the the conversion bear app, which is you just add it here uh, I just dragged it up to right below my product pages and then so look so I think this looks really professional and it doesn't look like if you if you guys have seen the old websites where it's like it's like those really like scammy like like especially like tv commercials have those like really scammy like badging badges you know it's not like that it's just super clean like hey you guys can pay with mastercard visa apple pay really clean and obviously this doesn't have any content but this is going to be uh the product page um which is you know it's good to have it right under that and then it guarantees so this is kind of like the setup i like to go with and yeah so i think this part of the uh section is done and now let's move on to the product page uh, one more app that I forgot to mention that's crucial to having a, when you own a Shopify store or a store in general is reviews. So reviews is like probably the second thing uh, the customers will look at after the, um, you know, look at your product, look at the pricing, look at your product description. So yeah, reviews are crucial. Um, you know, it shows, you know, the customer like what people actually like are saying about your product. So the one I actually used to use is judge.me product reviews. Uh, it's super easy easy to just import reviews from aliexpress and then you can edit the reviews to make them uh you know buff them up a little bit make them look a little better uh that's another one uh, and there's a free uh, let's, let me go back real quick there's a free plan which i was using i think i but i, I paid uh 15 dollars a month forgot what it was but it, it, it was a lot better uh, in my opinion i think it's worth the 15 dollars a month uh, in my opinion and then another one which is this one's huge uh, is luke's reviews um it's 9.99 a month uh this one's also worth it really high quality reviews yeah i would recommend these two apps i also recommend uh looking at looking into like both of these to kind of like test them out on your store and see which one do you think looks better um because it all comes down to like would you buy the product uh when you're building out stores you want to like really look into um what you're doing and what you're adding onto your store and be like do i think that looks good as a consumer because we all buy we all buy stuff we all are you know all on different websites um such as amazon you know all these like i just bought i just bought like a protein powder type thing for a website and i love the design of the website so now i'm trying to implement things i saw on that website into ones i build um it just will all increase conversions and increase like customer satisfaction throughout your website so just do some testing and see which, see which ones you guys like the best. So now I want to show you guys how to actually import the reviews from AliExpress onto your judge.me and onto your website. So you guys have to also add on this extension, uh, AliExpress Review Importer. Uh, just add that. It's totally free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL from here. I found um, 
it's the same product, just a different uh, store. And they actually have 66 reviews and uh, it looks like it's a pretty good rating. So all you have to do is just copy that link. Let's go here, install app real quick. So then I just want to import reviews from AliExpress. I want to enter in the URL and then you want to enter in the product, Bonsai, right here. And then, so this has 66 reviews, so I'll just do 66. And then I want actually, I want four stars or more. And then I actually only want reviews from uh, United States. You actually only might get like four reviews or three reviews just because most of these are from like China and like uh, different languages, which is what, what you don't want. Um, <laughs> And I also recommend uh, filtering this by content. Uh, so there's like a picture of the product, which is helpful to customers or like a certain word count and then translate to English. Awesome. I don't want this. Okay. So I just imported my review to, uh, uh, from AliExpress onto the AliExpress review importer. As you can see, it shows up here. Um, it's only one review, just kind of for a test so I, so I can show you guys. Obviously, it's not going to be a real life store. As you can see, I think it looks great so far. So we can scroll down. Add to cart, secure checkout with all these things. This is gonna be the product description. And then we have awesome looking customer reviews. Obviously we can change like the stars here. Uh, when you do use the pay plan, I recommend like um, uh, looking at the exact like uh, star color that, like Amazon has for the reviews and just copy and pasting that onto here uh, just to make it look more trustworthy. I also like how, how customers can easily write reviews onto this. And yeah, look at this one review. It's small. Um, awesome. So that's not a review that we would probably want to put on the website, <laughs> but um, as you can see, it is a review and it just shows that it is working. And then I like to have it so add to cart, product description, reviews. And then our guarantee and then the footer uh, for the product pages that's how I like to go you can mess with um, our guarantees uh, to move them up above but I think uh, having customer reviews right after the product product description um, so right after the customers read all that and they like oh wow this does this for me this is you know you know this kind of like how you describe your product right and then it goes to the reviews where customers can say oh wow so other people are liking this as well and that will entice them to add to cart and uh, you'll get a sale. So that's a, that's an app that I love. Okay, everybody, product description time. Uh, this is kind of what's gonna sell your product to the customer and is very important. So don't forget to write a product description um, or else you'll get zero sales, <laughs> I'll tell you right off the bat. So with the product, product description, it is not, you do not want it to be a book. Like customers do not want to read five pages worth of just pointless info. You want to get key points across like highlight key benefits that the customer will get from buying your product. That, that is the most important thing you can do when writing the product description. Okay, so I decided instead of writing out a whole entire product description page live, which would take like a couple hours to do, honestly, if you really wanna dive deep into it, um, I just wanna show you guys kind of like a template to follow on how you guys can create high quality product pages or product description, sorry. The first thing you wanna really emphasize is kind of a pain point and solution. Um, obviously like the with the example I'm giving you guys with the bonsai plant it doesn't necessarily have a pain point solution such as like um if you guys have seen like the spine deck like a, a spine stretcher you, you can like really emphasize um you know does your back hurt do you have back pain then use this to relieve that that is a great product uh that you can like uh implement like the pain point and solution another thing you want to do is state key benefits i do this and a lot of other people do it through bullet points um which i'll show you in a second and hype up the product. You wanna make it um, enticing to read and you want the customer to keep reading down the, the product description. Um, and then, you know, get to, re get to the reviews and then decide if they wanna to add to cart. And then obviously another very important thing is just having good grammar and formatting. That's just like, a, it's a common sense thing. Um, you need to have good grammar and f uh, you need to format it correctly so it's easy for the customer to read. So I added this picture here. It's actually, uh, let's see, it's actually this right here. If you can see it and it's a gif i think gifs are really uh visually appealing to customers and i think it's a key uh thing you, you want to look at to add to your product description page as well as other pictures so um i have an example here for you guys that i wrote out uh this is kind of how, how i would structure it obviously like the things i'm saying uh i would probably want to relook at and uh you know research more to make sure like you know i'm getting this like I don't know, I'm doing it correctly. And I wanna make sure like it really entices the, cu entices the customer. I wrote this in like five minutes, so just bear with me here. I wanna kinda have like a little hook to bring the customer in. 
So this is gonna be bolded and it's gonna say the Bonsai Plant Pro TM is the best decoration for product productivity. And then following that, you wanna, you know, do a um, click enter on the keyboard, a new paragraph. Um, this is gonna be a short paragraph saying like, why is it essential to have? Um, and as well as if it's like a gender specific type of product, you wanna incorporate that into it as well. And then I wanna break it off by separating the next paragraph and adding uh, another picture or GIF. In my case, I found another awesome GIF, which is this run, this one right here. Um, it's already it's already really professional, which is that honestly uh, not too often where you find this type of uh, GIF right off the bat. But yeah, I think this is really high quality and it's really visually appealing. The customer really easy to look at and it helps them flow through instead of just having a whole book. Like people don't want to read a book; they want to see visual images of the product in action. And then I follow follow it with. Uh, this which is a bunch of bullet points uh highlighting certain aspects obviously i don't think i honestly don't think these are really strong for my product but you know i'll just kind of go through them with you guys so like strong man manic magnet design sorry um experience the magic of the bonsai plant pro with their patented uh magnet design element that makes the plant look like it's floating increase productivity feel relaxed and at ease during stressful situations with the serenity of the floating plant so just like you guys got to kind of get where i'm going with um you know staying key benefits and then kind of going on with them for like about a sentence or so you don't want to keep it you don't want to uh, make it too long and uh for some formatting i want to show you guys is i actually made this uh 1.5 spaced so it's kind of uh you guys can see what it looks like when it's single spaced oops let's do this single R way too close together and it's harder to read whereas even i can even go double if i wanted to which honestly i think looks a little better just space it out the customer especially on a phone space it out make it easier for the customer to read it also takes up more space so you don't have to write as much um so i have these as well after this i would honestly put like another picture or a gif um i i usually want to go gif picture gif picture if you can uh so i know for sometimes some products have i've sold it's really hard to find gifts so it's just something you need to research before you start selling your product to make sure you have all the stuff you need um yeah so i have another picture here and then key features this is where you can uh further elaborate on things you already said here like strong magnetic uh magnet design you can go even further and um you know describe it more and just write more you know things that go along with your product and then separate it with another picture something on not, not everyone does but i highly recommend is doing frequently asked questions so if you go on amazon and research the product like this one right here i found this one has a lot of ratings you can look you can look up exactly what people are asking and you can incorporate that and answer those directly in the product description and that i i swear that will increase your conversion rate significantly because people have questions like say i have a question about this thing be like how oh how does it work and then frequently asked questions how does it work and it just describes exactly how it works because when goes oh that's how it works i like that or no i don't like that it just really helps to have that and just kind of builds more trust and, and uh people if they get their questions answered they're gonna buy it's just a known fact okay so transitioning back to my product uh my product page uh i actually just edited out uh the guarantees down here so as you can see um i just customized each one of these uh it just took me two minutes um you guys can um kind of uh kind of like just experiment with there's different icons you guys can choose from so i select customer but there's a ton of them to choose from on the google fonts and you guys can kind of see like what what kind of goes along with your brand or your product that you want to add in i just said how you rate it 4.5 out of 4.9 out of five stars fast delivery two to five day delivery and uh you know support i should I, I could even say 24 7 support uh, i feel like that's That'd be awesome to add 24 7 to support emails emails with questions kind of show that you know we're here for the customer we are um our website is designed for the best customer experience just kind of some um hitting home points um so yeah i actually i actually feel like this is done now um so now i'm gonna go back to the home page and finishing editing that up okay so i'm on the home page now and i actually just wrote out a little mission statement so on the homepage, right? So we have uh, this first slideshow, ultimate relaxation, shop now, learn more. Like an awesome uh, kind of first thing customers see, they can learn more, they can shop now. If they don't, they can scroll down and they get the featured product, which is our main product on our one product store here. Awesome, pictures are great. And this actually doesn't have the full details, so that if they want, they could click on full details uh, to get the full product description, which is what we actually want them to click on. And then right here, we have our mission. 
I just wrote this quick mission, mission statement. Um, you guys can also research how to write mission statements. I, I do think uh, it does help like a little like uh, to add trust to a brand uh, while writing a mission statement. Like let, let the customers know like what you guys are about, what you guys wanna, uh, what's the, why did you guys create this brand? Uh, just important things to, like to note in a mission statement that I feel like are really helpful. Uh, and then of course our guarantees show up here again which is awesome i like how they show up on every page this kind of lets the customers know hey this is what we are um and then also also just the footer again so this is the home page i think it looks great pretty much done except now i want to show you guys real quick uh how to edit these menus and i think that's about gonna wrap it up for um the website besides this uh, menu page so let's get into it. Okay, so for the main menu page that I'm gonna edit for you guys, uh, first, I actually wanna, I like the home page. You wanna keep that. Um, I actually just wanna emphasize our Bonsai Plant Pro product. Uh, and let's end, let's get the TM symbol real quick. Let's copy and paste that. And we actually wanna link, we don't link, what you don't wanna link this to all products. We wanna link this to a specific product, which is this right here. So that, that'll go to the product page. So if the customer, for some reason, I, I, I feel like I set it up where that won't be an issue, but if the cu customer for some reason has a hard time finding the product, <laughs> we link it right, right to them right here. So that's awesome. And then also, I also just like leaving the contact um, just for customers give option to email uh, if they have questions about the product. Uh, then we could just save menu right there. Uh, one more thing I want to note is if you guys are uh, offering like tracking services that customers can use to track their packages, that's another menu item you will want to add. Uh, just say tracking. So customers can easily just track their packages through the top menu instead of like trying to find through all, your whole website. So I think that's really important to note as well. Okay, so that's about gonna wrap it up for the website creation. Hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully it was helpful. If you guys do have other questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to every single one of them and answer them. And I can also make follow-up videos. This isn't, this is not the only video I'm gonna make on this topic. So yeah, with that, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't Peace. Even smoke, I feel how when I'm next to you, babe.